Welcome to Living on the Apex. I'm Don. I'm Rachel. And we're excited that you've joined us. And we're going to be sharing with you our 2022 recap of the adventures we experienced together. And we're going to be sharing with you our top three destinations, our top three hikes, and our top three experiences. And we each have our own, and so we haven't shared it with one another. So we're going to go ahead and get started with our top three destinations. And so, Rachel, you want to start with yours? All right. So my very top destination was probably the Wind River Range in Wyoming. I just think it is so beautiful and remote and just a wonderful place to visit. It, it was amazing. That's actually my top favorite as well. And I was going to start with my number three and work my way to number one, but that's fine. So my number three was Goblin Valley State Park. Uh, that place was just amazing. It was a spontaneous trip. We were just getting over COVID. We jumped in the Jeep and drove down a, about five hours to the state park. And it was just, just amazing. It was such a, a unique experience. And the fact that it's only a state park and it's not that well known, it, we just had a wonderful time down there. And it's, we'll be showing you some clips, of course, of that. But the hoodoos, uh, just the, the way you could explore it, it was just, it was extremely unique. All right, so my number two was actually Goblin Valley. Um, I love variety when I hike. So the Wind River Range is mountainous and green and lakes, but Goblin Valley is desert formations, red, just very unique. And we got off trail and really explored that area. So I thought it was a lot of fun. And my number two was, it basically it's going to consist of several locations, but it's Moab and the San Rafael Swell. Uh, you talk about just adventures. We showed up there in Moab in November with some friends, and we, we have a previous video of that. We did some winter camping. It was cold, but there was hardly anyone around. And we really didn't have a whole lot of plans. We just kind of explored and went where we wanted to go. And we did some off-roading with our Jeep for the first time. Uh, did fins and things and got my first badge that you get for free from Jeep. And that was, that was just amazing. It was a good time. And we found some cool locations like the Gemini Bridges. And we just drove out in the desert. And that, that was just pretty fun. And it was cold, but we stayed in our rooftop tent, used our diesel heater for the first time that just kept us nice and warm. And we just had a, a wonderful time. And San Rafael Swell, the little Grand Canyon, we got to see some sheep. We weren't expecting that. We drove through a wash um, and over to Black Dragon Canyon. It was just a really unique trip. And that was my number two. All right, so number three was Moab. <laughs> and uh, I don't know, I think it's more crowded even though we were there in the winter than Goblin Valley. That's probably why it was number three. But as far as variety, it would top Goblin Valley, a very beautiful place to visit. And I think um, the, the off-road trails were awesome. I did get to do a lot of hiking and I think I'd probably make it up number two, number one if I got to do more hiking, <laughs> but it was a beautiful place. All right, and my number one was the Wind Rivers. It was just absolutely breathtaking, and it's not very far from us. It's in Wyoming, just across the border, and we got to drive up into Green River Lakes, which we did it in June, just as the snow was melting. The campsites were free to stay at. There was very few people there. We had the trail pretty much to ourselves. And our goal was to get to Slide Creek Falls. And unfortunately, we crossed a few very freezing cold rivers. <laughs> that is so cold. Get out and walk around. You'll see some videos of that. It was so cold. It was snow melt. And we got to the last creek, or a slide creek, I believe. We had to cross that to hit the trail to get up to the slide creek falls. And it was just 
barreling down the mountain. It was just so much water and it was very unsafe. So we weren't able to do that. But we went back again, I believe in September or August with her aunt and uncle and had a wonderful time with them. I think we nearly killed them on the hike. It ended up being much further than we thought. And we, we did the hike to Slide Creek Falls, which was probably one of the most amazing, unique natural formations I've seen as far as waterfalls. It was just several hundred yards of like a highway with like a couple inches of water just rushing down it. It was just amazing. Wouldn't you say that was pretty cool? And then we ended up from there, we ended up adding another three miles onto our hike going to a natural bridge at the end of this canyon just off the Green River Lake. So Wind Rivers, one of the amazing top destinations. And of course, I probably just talked about one of my hikes and I shouldn't have done that. But anyway, so let's, <laughs> let's talk about our top three hikes. And I'll go first with my number three was the Appalachian Trail. And I know this is probably gonna be my wife's number one because it's a dream of hers. And I enjoyed it. Um, and I enjoyed it more because I was with her. And it was just the idea of this 2,200 mile hike uh, on the East Coast, which is just a phenomenal challenge. It's a lot harder than you think. And there was a lot of ups and downs, but we, we went in March at the beginning of winter and there's no leaves on the trees. And so it, 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 it wasn't very green or as beautiful as you would think. We did see some waterfalls and, but it was neat meeting new people. And it was just, it, it was just a challenge. And especially the first day, that was a difficult first day, hiking up that, what's the name of that, falls? Anyway, there's these falls at the very beginning of the trail, which you could bypass and, and drive to the top of this mountain to start the hike. But we started at the bottom and hiked like all the way up these steps near these this falls and finally got to the start of the Appalachian Trail. And I, I was nearly dead before we even started the trail. So but anyway, that was my number three. I'll start with number three this time. My number three was actually the day we did Goblin Valley in a slot canyon. Mm. Out of the two of those, was it Dead Horse Canyon? I think? It was Wild Horse, Wild Little Horse. Wild Horse Canyon. Yeah, I, I actually think that was my favorite of the two. Um, I just love hiking slot canyons and getting into tight squeezes and seeing where they go. And that actually was really pretty. And some places down in that canyon. And that was my number two. It was the same reason. It was just the hiking, the exploring. We love to get off trail and just kind of explore. And Goblin Valley was great for that. Just yeah. exploring and hiking. But the slot canyon, you're you're in a slot. But that was just, that was really unique. I, I love hiking slot canyons anyway. But that was pretty cool. It was only a few miles past Goblin Valley. All right. So my number two hike was actually the Smoky Mountains. Um they're very beautiful. I happened to be hiking in some bad weather and didn't always have a good view, but there were several times I got on top of the mountain and, and the Smoky Mountains are way bigger than you'd think. Being back east, 6,500 feet, I think, was about the highest I got. But they, they're just beautiful, like redwoods, black bear, lots of um, wildlife. I thought that was really fun to hike. So my number, well, my number two was the Slot Canyon, Goblin Valley, but my number one uh, was the Green River Lakes Trail. And we had flat top in the distance. We, we, it was just picturesque. The entire hike was just, mm -hmm. just breathtaking. And, uh, you know, I can't wait to get back there, actually. I love that spot. Mm -hmm. And we're actually, that's one of our destinations for 2023 is the Cirque of Towers yeah. in the Wind River Range. So it's not the yeah. same location, but I, I hope we do go back to the same location, maybe with some friends. And we're gonna hopefully next year, I haven't talked to Rachel about this, but I would love to get those inflatable kayaks and actually uh, float those lakes to the end of where the trail is at the end of the lakes. But anyway, that was my number one. That was actually my number one hike too. <laughs> I just thought it's so beautiful. You feel like you're in the Swiss Alps or something. It's just um, breathtaking. All right. So our top three experiences. <laughs> and uh, I know that the word experiences can mean a lot of different things. So I'm not sure what hers are, but uh, I'm going to start with mine. Uh, my number three, I think, was Willard Peak. It's a, it's a local mountain here. It was an overland trip for us. We drove like almost 20 miles to get to the top of this 9,000 foot mountain. It overlooked the Salt Lake Valley. 
and you could just see all the way around you. But on this, where you parked, it was called Inspiration Point. You can hike another mile and a half to the very top of Willard Peak. And that just that that whole drive up there with the Jeep, the, the hike, and then driving back down about maybe a quarter mile and camping on top of this mountain with the amazing views. To me, that was just a really unique experience. So we got to do it with a friend of ours. Yes, my um, number three was Moab. I love to do bends and things. So what was the other trail that we did uh, with Chris? Oh, Hell's Revenge, Hell's Revenge with our that buddy was Chris. Better than fence and things. I just hope to do that be, next year. Yeah, just yeah. to see what what the Jeep could do, and it was beautiful at the same time. The scenery was different and and very beautiful. I had a lot of fun. And you know, it, it's funny because I never, I really didn't think my wife would ever enjoy doing those kind of adventures with the Jeep because it is kind of scary. You're in a vehicle you paid money for and you don't want to break it, but. It was actually not as difficult as I really thought it would be. And it was funny, when we first got the Jeep, my wife would be afraid that I'd get stuck in about two inches of mud. She's like, you're going to get us stuck. And I was like, that would be cool. You know, but the but the driving in Moab, the rocks are sandstone. Uh, you're not really, you're staying in a certain area on the rocks. And it, it, I don't know, it's, it was yeah. just really unique. So. And I got to hike some, so that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> so my, my number two was... Uh, the Wind Rivers, just the experience of driving. It was a nice overland trip with our Jeep and our rooftop tent. We we got to see so much wildlife. I mean, the very first trip we took, we saw we saw bald eagles, we saw deer, we saw elk, and we had a moose for the first. Really, I grew up in Montana. I never had a moose anywhere close to me. We're setting up our camp, and I wish I would have had the cameras. At one time, I didn't have the camera filming a setup camp. But we're setting up camp, and I turn around, and coming through the trees is this massive mama moose and her calf literally about 30 feet away from us. And I was like, I just yelled, mama moose. And my wife, Rachel, jumped in the Jeep, and I started climbing the rooftop, uh, into the rooftop uh, tent. And anyway, it was just a really neat, all the wildlife we saw. And then, and then of course, just the, the breathtaking views. It was just beautiful, so... He's probably going to kill me for my number two because it's not overlanding or camping or hiking. But the Renaissance Festival is always a highlight for me. And I get to do it with my daughter and my grandkids to get all dressed up. And it it's like you are transported through history. And so I just love the Renaissance Festival that I got to do this past year. Awesome. And, and I've gotten to do that too. It is a lot of fun. It has absolutely nothing to do with hiking and overlanding, but it is an experience. It is a lot of fun. And uh, we get to just, you know, my wife makes dresses and makes our outfits and we'll show some pictures. We, we do have a lot of fun with that is yeah. with family. And there is a lot of walking though. So yeah. you could say you get a lot of exercise. <laughs> so anyway, so my number one experience for 2022 was just being with Rachel um, I don't know, almost seven or eight days on the Appalachian Trail. This has been one incredible hike. We did seven and a half miles yesterday and it was a lake burner coming up the falls and then hiking another six miles basically to the uh, Black Gap shelter where we got to meet a lot of folks. But it's been amazing. Rachel's doing fantastic. We were really worried about her, her back she is doing awesome and I'm thankful for that because this is a dream of hers and I hope she can see it to fruition or reality but anyway we'll, we'll get we'll get going um, that was the first time I think we've ever spent literally that much time together <laughs> and like every single moment of the day from the time you get up to the time you go to bed other than when COVID hit we were waking up every morning at the house and everything was closed down but we were packing up our tent we eat breakfast getting our backpacks on and hiking 8 to 12 13 miles a day setting up camp and just experiencing that together meeting new people but just spending that time with Rachel was real special I feel like we got so close during that time it was really hard to say goodbye when she continued on another 200 miles because I could only do about 30. I did 33 with her. So, mm -hmm. but anyway. That was definitely my number one, the Appalachian Trail. 
all 200 miles that I got to do. Um, it was a lifetime dream. And I knew when I went that there was a good chance I wouldn't get to do the whole thing because of my back, but I, you can't not try. <laughs> and so all the prep that went into that, the study, and then just to get out there and, and I loved being with Dawn, but also to be, to know that you can do it by yourself too, as a woman was really encouraging to just sleep in the woods, to cook your own food, to, to camp. Um, and not to mention it was just beautiful. And I'll say I haven't given up on that dream. I hope that if I can't do all of it at once, that I can take sections now as I get better. So that was my highlight. All right, awesome. Well, so those are our top threes for the year of 2022. Look forward to this next year, 2023. We're gonna kick off the, the new year with a winter camping trip together. And hopefully we'll be adding the Cirque of Towers and the Wind Rivers. We're gonna go down and uh, maybe the Grand Canyon. We'll be in New Mexico. We're gonna be, we're gonna have some great adventures in 2023. We look forward to uh, sharing those with you if you like this video, we'd love for you to subscribe to our channel. We're, we're fairly new, but we're, we're a growing channel. And uh, we, we like to do a lot of different things, so it's hard to be real focused, but we love anything outdoors. Outdoors, adventures, uh, overlanding, hiking, backpacking, just exploring. And so we'd love for you to join us on those journeys. So please subscribe and, and thanks for watching. Thank you.